What's up everybody, this is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob, doing a rundown with whiskeys aged in rum casks. I got a Springbank 15 year old, I got an Amru exclusive to Kensington Wine Market that is eight and a half years old, and then I have a Cavlon which is eight and a little bit, so eight and a couple months. All right, I'm gonna nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. I've already added water to them. I kind of had some malfunctions going on with my recording device, so uh, we're gonna get to this very quickly over here with the Springbank Rum. The Springbank Rum was a 2019 release, 9,000 bottles, 51%, really, really nice stuff. It's lighter in color than the other two here, so indicating probably that it's a lighter rum as opposed to maybe these maybe older rum casks used for the Amru and the Cavalon. Okay, a little bit of tropical notes, which is unusual with Springbank. You get a little bit of the Springbank funk on the back end, so a little bit of like a vanilla biscuity, smoky kind of note on the back end. There's like a mint and mango note as well. Maybe some peaches and apricots as well. On the palate. Really sweet, pretty syrupy. Like I said, I added a couple drops of water in there. You get the mango, you get that vanilla biscuit. Not too much smoke, not too much peat on this one. It's one of the lightly peated uh, spring banks that I've tried. Compared to the 10 local barley, it's barely detectable. But when you compare it to these two whiskeys here, it does pick up a little bit more peat. but not very peated at all. If you're not a peat lover, you can try this one and not have to worry because there's not very much. Really nice. I'm gonna give this one a 91. It's really, really good whiskey. I bet it's gonna get even better as it goes down. Um, if it does get better, I will do an individual review of this in February as the next month or so I will be going dry. This will technically be showing during my dry month, so this is pre-recorded, of course. Moving on over here to the Amru. Like I said, this is eight and a half years old. On the nose, this one's the most robust by far. Tons of molasses, tons of Amru distillery characteristic. Beautiful brown sugar notes. Really, really porridgey, like lots of cooked oatmeal with Heavy amounts of brown sugar in that oatmeal. Probably some raisins. Probably some walnuts. That's what I get here. Maybe a little bit of maple syrup as well. Wow, beautiful nose. You can definitely tell that this is Amaru. Whereas with this one, it's not your typical spring bag. So you don't get all of those spring bag characteristics that you would normally. The Amaru, you can definitely tell right off the hop. And there's water added in this one, but it's 60% on the dot. It's a single cask. So it probably was watered down to get to 60% on the dot. There's only 317 bottles available of this. And it all went to one store. So your chances of getting this is actually still pretty good. Wow, I love that nose. And the palate's just as robust, just as dessert-like. Gingerbread cookies, like I said, definitely heavy, like oatmeal type characteristics, lots of brown sugar, super sweet, beautiful whiskey. Um, these are eight and a half and eight years, two months, but they're aged in tropical or very hot climates anyway. Uh, so you're going to get more barrel to whiskey action out of these two than you will out of the older 15 year old Springbank. But these are gonna drink a little bit older, I think. Um, from my experience with Amru and Cavalon, they do tend to drink a little bit more older. Wow. This is just beautiful. That's amazing whiskey. All three of these are awesome. This one takes the cake, I think, 
I'm going to get to the Cavalon in just a sec, but that's a 92. It could be a 93. This is amazing stuff in my opinion. Really, really like Amaru, and I really like this expression. Awesome stuff, 92. Um, and that says a lot beating out the Springbank rum because I love this stuff as well. Okay, last but not least, the Cavalon rum. This one's 58.6%. Spent its entire life in X rum casks. And you get that on the nose. You definitely get rum characteristic here. Really, really nice. Sweet nose. Some tropical notes in there. Maybe some banana. On the palate. Again, water was added to this. Water benefits all three of these whiskeys. I'm going to say that right off the hop. So I did add water, like I said. This one has like a minty note on the palate. Maybe almost borderline piney note. It's still sweet though. Little bit of molasses in there. But definitely some bananas. Maybe some guava. Definitely tropical heavy, all right? If you're looking for like that dark rum characteristic, that's the Amaru in the middle here. These are a little bit more like a fresh rum flavor, more um, fresh fruits, tropical fruits, whereas this is more your hefty rum cask influence. Last sip of the Cavalon. Really nice as well. Super sweet. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these whiskeys, but this one I'm going to give it an 89. Just falls short of the A plus range. Would I buy a backup of this? Probably not. Whereas anything I give a 92 is a definite backup. Definitely want to grab this Springbank 15. And you most definitely, if you can, want to grab an Amru rum of some sort. Maybe they have single casks in other parts of the world. This one's from Alberta. Uh, really, really nice. Honestly, this is excellent whiskey. So just to recap, the Cavalon came in the lowest at 89, the Springbank at a 91, and then the Amru at a 92 slash 93. So it's that good in my opinion. Honestly, all three of these are excellent, but these two are the winners for me. Recently, a friend of mine launched a website called theswaglife.com. You can find my merchandise there. You can find sweaters like this. You can find hats, uh, t-shirts, mugs, whatever you're looking for. Uh, it's called theswaglife.com. I'll leave the website below. So check that out if you're looking for Whiskey in the Six merchandise. As I said earlier, I am going dry this entire month, so you will be watching this video while I'm currently dry. I've recorded this just before I went dry. I uh, will not be drinking the entire month or at least for 30 days straight. And in that time, I will be releasing my top six 10-year-old Scotch whiskeys, my top six No Age Statement Scotch whiskeys, and perhaps a couple other surprise videos. We'll see if I can get to them. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell for when I release videos. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.